It's been pretty cold in the evenings, even though it's a summer night. Okay, Google, what's the temperature this week? Lows will be in the low 60s tomorrow. So I'm gonna make a jacket. Something to keep me warm in the evenings when I go out, if I ever go out, because still, COVID is dictating our lives. I had some fabric that I bought from Ikea, but I wasn't quite sure which print to go with. So I went to Instagram to ask for some help. Should I go with the flower power print or the psychedelic jungle? Let me know what you guys think. Go. And the winner is... Flower power. We'll use these for something else. First thing we gotta do is make a template. Actually, first thing we gotta do is figure out which direction this goes. I think I want to go this way. The flowers look happier. <laughs> Start off with grabbing a sweater that you have. Oh no, it has this type of a setup. Oh. It's not like a high shoulder. That changes everything. I'm gonna use this instead. Where's my pencil? Pencil. I can't find my pencil. I just had my pencil and now I can't find my pencil. Say it again. I'm losing my pencil. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, I found another pencil. Because I think this fabric is upholstery fabric, it doesn't have the same stretch as garment fabric. So I still use the sweater as a guide for the loose sizing and the jacket as a general template. I measure out the back of the jacket, one half of the front panel of the jacket and use it as the template for both sides, and then measure out the arms. Make sure to not include the cuffs, waistband, and collar in your measurements as these will come in later. Turns out my camera was not recording while I was tracing everything out after I finished cutting all of these pieces. I've got my back panel, I've got my two front panels, and then I got the arms. Next, I placed the back panels with the front panels right sides facing each other and then sewed the shoulders in place with a zigzag stitch. Once those were in place, I folded the arms in half, wrong sides facing each other, matched the center point of the arm to the shoulder seams and stitched from the center down on one side and then down the other. Then, to finish off the body of the jacket, starting from the armpit, I sewed down the length of the arm and then went back to the armpit to sew down the side of the body. I also went over the armpit a few times around to ensure it doesn't rip when stretching. Oops! <laughs> it's coming together. It's very floral. I still don't know if I'm gonna put pockets in it. You guys know how I feel about pockets. I love pockets. I love to put just anything and everything in my pocket. I gotta do the next steps of putting the zipper and the ribbing all around before I start thinking about pockets. Hmm. Now what I gotta do is I've gotta measure the... What are these called? Uh, the ribbing? I don't, know. I don't think it's called ribbing. I think it's cuffs. Anyway, I measure around the waistband, the arm cuffs, and the collar on my existing jacket to replicate those sizes on the stretch fabric. Ideally, stretch knit ribbed fabric. However, I didn't have that on hand, so Ew. I used whatever I had that was stretchy. I would definitely advise to add an additional inch to your measurements as you can easily trim off any excess fabric rather than having to add to something that's too tight. I went with the 5 inch width as I wanted the cuffs to be 2 inches when folded down with half an inch seam allowance on both sides. You can tell that this isn't ribbed knit fabric. It's still stretchy. I don't know how it's gonna turn out though. This is for the waist. These are for the wrists. And then this is for the collar. We're gonna attach this onto the jacket piece. Start by attaching the waistband, folding the jacket in half, and folding the waistband horizontally. Then with the right sides facing each other, match the center of the waistband to the center of the jacket and pin it in place. And then pinning the ends to each other and sewing it in place. What I did was I then sewed this with a zigzag stitch. But really what I had to do was I had to pull. I had to pull like the, to create tension so that I got it across evenly. Like as you can see, it's kind of like bunching up because it's elastic. So. When you're going through it, you just have to make sure that you've got pins in place to hold it and you're just pulling it just so that the fabric is distributed evenly all across. Next, fold the cuffs in half, right sides facing each other, sewing them together, and then folding it down halfway with the right sides now facing outwards and the stitch seams on the inside. I then slip the cuffs onto the arms, right sides facing each other, matching the seams on the sleeve to the seam on the cuff. And similar to the waistband, we pin this together adding tension to the fabric as we sew it in place. Alright, next, time for zippers. I start by folding the waistband in half and pinning it in place so that I know where the bottom of the jacket ends and where the bottom of the zipper starts. To add the zippers, I separate and place them with the teeth facing towards the jacket and lining them up starting from the bottom. After I pin them in place, I zip it up just to make sure everything lines up nicely. Once that's good, I then sew them on with a straight stitch, making sure to unfold the waistband so that I'm sewing the zipper only to one side of the cuff. 
Next, I fold the cuffs into the inside of the jacket, starting from one end and pinning it as I go down to the other end. As I'm doing this, I'm also folding the cuff into itself about a centimeter so that I'm hiding the raw edges. Once you get to the end where the zippers are, you'll want to fold here as well, again to hide the raw edges. So folding it in like that as well so that it's hidden and you don't see the raw edges. See the difference? Yes. So this one's like raw edges and this one isn't. Then, sew from one end to the other. For the collar, I fold it down in half and then fold it across making a diagonal cut at the ends. And just like the waistband, I find the center point of the neck and the collar, pin them together, and apply the stretch technique to distribute the fabric evenly as I sew them in place. It's about 8 o'clock, I realize I haven't had anything to eat yet, so I've got my little ninja on the balcony cooking up some food for me. Have something to eat so that I don't pass out. Now that I've had some nourishment, I continue on by sewing the zippers onto the inside of the jacket so that they're not flapping loosely. Okay, I decided I want pockets. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I really contemplated on this for a while as I do love pockets, yet I wasn't quite sure if I was ready to commit to making them. But I went ahead and did it anyway, because when in lockdown, what else is there to do? Clean your place. Now, I can't really remember what I did for the pockets, but from what I remember, I cut out four strips for the welt pocket, folded them in half, and placed them where I wanted the opening to be for the pockets. I then sewed them in place, made a cut down the middle, creating triangle cuts at each of the ends, and flipped the sewn on welt pockets to the inside of the jacket. I then ironed them flat, traced out the pocket lining, and sewed them onto the welt pockets. And finally, I top stitched the outside of the pocket to finish it off.